Got a special morning this morning. Jonah's been begging me to do the chores in the morning all by himself. So I thought that might work better with a camera. So we're just gonna kinda tag along and just make sure everything's okay. Got a special morning this morning. Jonah's been begging me to do the chores in the morning all by himself. So I thought that might work better with a camera. So we're just gonna kinda tag along and just make sure everything's okay. What happened? It didn't go so well. I had to go down there and get two scoops of grain and put it in the other. Oh, okay. What you can do is looks like there's a lot in this one. Pick it up and spread it between those other two. He didn't ration his feed right. It's okay. It's just that he put too much in in some of these bowls here, and he'll have to take some out and put it in the bowls. I was thinking maybe you would pick up the bowl and do it instead of using your hands. What do you think? Uh, I'll just use my hands. Okay. Good morning to you, Obama. Now this is news, so we knew that Obama had the upper hand in the Obama teabag fight several days ago, Baby, but now it looks like, look, he's not letting me get to his right side because his right side is swollen shut, his eye. Yeah, buddy, got a swollen eye. We're gonna have to keep a look on that, okay? Hey, what are you gonna do about the water? I'll wash it. Well, it needs more water. Do you just want me to help you with the water? I think I might, no, I think I'll carry little buckets up here with water okay. that I can put in. Can you get the lid off to be able to pour, pour water in there? I won't screw it so tight so I... That's true. Let me help him do this. Oh wow, I got it. You got it, good job. Now I'm watching him doing this, I'm, I'm taking notes. Like if I wanted for sure for him to do it or for mom to do it. What's up buddy? You want down? Okay. What I was saying was, if I wanted him to do it, I see some ways to make it easier already. For one, we could have this hose rigged up easy enough so that he could take the hose all the way to the chickens or all the way to the turkeys, which is really not that far. Uh, do a quick release. We could do a quick release on this faucet. For the feed bucket, it's, I, don't, I can't think of any, any way to get around that. Maybe breaking it down into two buckets instead of just one big heavy bucket. Hey Jonah, would you rather put the nozzle on the end of the hose? And yeah. just bring the hose up here? That sounded like a way better idea. <laughs> okay. I can just only see him labor so hard for so long when it's not really necessary. You're doing good, buddy. You have a determination. This seems much better. And then you can fill it all the way up. And he's not gonna take three trips. Teabag, man. Hey. In your little Elmo outfit. I watched a really interesting documentary on Elmo. Well, the creator behind Elmo. Interesting fun fact for you. Elmo represents love. So you're representing love this morning. You're a good representation of that. You know that? Hey, what happened? There's dirt at the top, buddy. It, the nozzle got... 
Now, okay. just rinse it off a little bit. Okay. So I want folks to be encouraged by this. Maybe you're really young, like Jonah, and you're eight, or maybe you're getting older, or for whatever reason, you can't quite lift the seven gallon waterer. But for one, you don't have to fill up all the seven gallons. But there are tricks to make this easier and doable. You'll be able to have breaks in the morning and you won't have to do it on Saturdays. Yeah, I know. And you that'd... can sleep in. Ooh, that'd be kind of nice. I gotta get this set up so that you can do this easier. Okay. So, so far I think I would show him to use two feed buckets and we'll get quick release quick releases for the hose so he can easily undo that and do that and I also have to remember not to tie the or not to put the lid on so tight so that he can actually get it off now listen can you put the lid on tight enough that the air doesn't get through and the water run out sure. let's test it right there okay now open the open the lid at the bottom and let's see if the way we know is if this stops after it's gotten level, and it does. So I think you've I think you've done well. Okay, run your hose through to the turkeys, and just see if we have enough length. Which it totally looks like we have enough length. Uh, that's a good idea. Just put it through and then run it through loosely. He's got to go across the creek, overgrown creek, to get his hose. Good job. I'm afraid if he goes over, he'll drag the fence down like that and it'll stay down and I'll jump over. Oh boy. It's kinked somewhere. We unkinked it. Now it looks like though it's too tight. Any help? Wow, come look in the inside. Wow. I must say, he's having a very good attitude. This is taking like 45 minutes. Normally it takes about 15 minutes. But he's having, he's being a very good sport about it. See, watch, see how that runs out when air's, air's going through? Watch how to slow down, see? Hey, good job doing the chores. Good morning, beautiful one. Good morning. Good morning, Josiah and Lily. We asked Papa if we could bust open some pumpkins and Papa said there were two uh, rotten pumpkins in a blue bucket so we're gonna go uh, bust them open. Those are the pumpkins. So tiny. Yeah. Yay! You busted it! I'm gonna try to bust open this pumpkin with this. Hmm. Can't get it? I think I'll bust it open like this. John is about to pull it open. John, no, it can't be it. Oh. Can it? Keep now. Okay. Got it. Wow. It looked like he got food. More balls. <laughs> now we're going to clean it up. I just did the fine edit. It looks good. She does the bulk of editing. She's amazing. She's a great editor. She has been looking at... Is this floor for our bus? I'm trying to figure out what we're going to put So what kind of flooring are you talking about? Bamboo. This is cork. Nice. You got one picked out? You got a favorite? I thought I did, but now I don't know if we can put it in. I'm doing research to see. Let me see a sample. So this is what I was originally looking yeah. at. Yeah. That's and nice. I meant to share with you guys this. Yesterday, I published a new article on my website at Abundant Permaculture. This is the 10 steps for growing most of your food in less than 10 hours a week. You guys know it, you've been following me for a while, maybe over the 100 days, but I break it down step by step, the 10 steps I use to make it happen, and better yet, how you can make it happen for yourself, the tools, everything. 
photos and videos to go along with it. It's great, check it out. Link's in the description. This evening, I wanted to go over Jonah's situation and try to see what we can do to get him a hose, maybe that would run out there, and a hose up here. A quick release so we can attach the fogget nozzle and water the greenhouse plants. Or he could switch it out and put on the sprayer nozzle to which he could go and water the chickens with. This is not gonna work because he's gonna bring this hose back here. We're gonna use it here and we have to... He'd have to have three hoses. Because we can't be pulling this hose up every day. Hey, you know what? Well, hang on. We have this plastic hose going out to the old cow waterer, but I'm pretty sure Papa ran over it with his mower. But we'll check. I might be able to fix this if we still have some of those parts for when we connected those plastic hoses. All we need is a connector. Check in here. Oh man, you lucky dog. Look, there's the connector. Here, take this. Hold this. Okay. Okay. Oh, we need our torch. Okay, I got a beautiful one out here. Be my lovely camera assistant, I guess. The chillers are over and playing. You hauling rocks somewhere? Where are you going? Yeah. Okay, have fun. What we're gonna do is connect it to this, but you can't just shove it in there. Of course, we're gonna take it out of its plastic bag. Gotta heat it up with a torch. And there we go. So I'm just moving it around and so it don't burn it and burn it. Just want to warm it and it softens up that plastic. That should do it. What do you think? Yeah. Alright, there we go. Now we gotta go track down the end of this hose. Oh, we gotta follow it. It's hard to get it. It's been covered up with this grass. Yeah, you might just have to kind of walk with it, Beck. Oh, getting you, getting you a little uh, lift up the hose out of the tall grass workout. This is the uh, hose. <laughs> What's the name of this feature? The hose feature. Okay, the buried hose feature. See if we've got a shutoff valve on the end of it. I think we do, if I remember right. So it circles around. And then it comes this way. Okay, Jonah. Oh, maybe I have the end. Oh, here's this, Justin. That's it. You buried in the grass, buddy? Yeah. I'm not that buried. Come on. Come on, my friend. That's Come on, buddy. You holler when you turn it on. She's turning it on, folks. It's working great. Let's take this test to shut off. Now I don't think Jonah's gonna be able to open and shut this. Come here, Jonah. Come here and see if you can turn this on. Don't point it at me when you try to turn it on. All right, now shut it. Okay, you can do it. All right, we'll turn it on for you a little bit. You want to play with it a little bit? There you go. I'll give you a little bit of water. I'm putting this splitter on so we can run one hose to the turkeys and one hose to our ch for our chickens in our greenhouse. I like just making do and using what we have instead of having to buy anything. So do we need those quick release connectors then? Yes. Oh, okay. Because the quick release connectors are one is for the one that we use in the greenhouse. Oh. And we'll have it on there probably for watering our greenhouse stuff. And then the other one is for the spray nozzle that he can mm. use on watering the chickens. Yeah, Why see that? Why don't buy a new one of them? I know, I guess I think about that now. Because if, if he could turn that off, he could switch out these nozzles. Yeah, I guess that's what we should have done. We would only had to buy one of these instead of two quick releases. I could probably cancel it. Whoops. I wonder if I bought it. We'll just check and then get a new one of these. 